Hey guys, well my greenhouse is assembled and ready for plants. I'm going to be sharing how I rate this greenhouse and I can't wait to give you my review about this greenhouse, where I bought it, the benefits and the drawbacks about the entire process. I purchased the Paul Ram six foot by eight foot Harmony greenhouse from Costco for $599. Now you can purchase virtually the same greenhouse on Amazon for about the same price. One benefit I found of purchasing this item and this product through Costco for that same price of $5.99 is the bonus starter kit that is included. The starter kit includes a heavy duty metal shelf as well as a automatic window vent opener as well as a ton of hooks that you can use for hanging baskets. All in all, this starter kit has an added value of about $100 included in that same price of $5.99. So definitely worth it if you have a Costco membership or something worth considering. Now I ordered mine online uh, through the Costco website and it only took a few days for FedEx to deliver it, which was great. These do come unassembled in a relatively small box. But before jumping in to assembly stuff, I wanna give you a few more details on this product. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in some of the technical specs like wind resistance or snow load, take a look down at the description below. Otherwise, this greenhouse does include a roof vent or a roof window. It's constructed of aluminum, steel, and polycarbonate. The polycarbonate on this greenhouse is clear and not ribbed or slightly opaque like you will find on some greenhouses. Now this clear polycarbonate does allow about 90% of the light to come through or another way to think of that is 10% of the light is blocked. The main features of this greenhouse are a lockable door and handle, built in gutters and galvanized steel sort of base frame that adds structural stability to the entire greenhouse. On the Palram website, 92% of the people who had left a review on this particular greenhouse had given this product either a four or five star rating. And on the Costco website, the average customer rating was a 4.3 stars. All right, so this is a do-it-yourself assembly required greenhouse, and I do wanna spend a brief moment discussing the entire assembly process. If you're interested in more content like this, please give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Now, they do claim an easy assembly as one of the features of this product. And generally speaking, this was an okay product to assemble, but there are a few things that I need to mention. I decided to assemble this entire greenhouse in my garage, which I think was a really good decision. This way, you don't have to worry if you have any inclement weather, strong winds, crazy rains like we did actually have, and if you just wanna take your time assembling this greenhouse by doing this in your garage really enables you that freedom. Now, the most important thing to know about the assembly is that they tell you right out of the gate it's going to take eight hours and it's a two-person job. I thought they were being a bit dramatic. I did assemble most of this greenhouse alone, which they don't recommend, by the way, and it did take that full eight hours. I timed the entire process, and I actually took some photos every two hours of how much greenhouse was completed. 
In that first two hours, I was able to complete the base and the beginnings of the front and back walls without really any hiccups or issues. After those first four hours, I was able to complete all of the walls, again, really without any complications. By the six hour mark, I had basically completed the entire greenhouse, roof and all. Although I still had the door and the roof vent slash window to install. And believe it or not, those final two things took about two hours to complete. Which brought me to the eight hour mark and that's not even preparing the ground or constructing the base for the greenhouse. The worst part of the assembly was really the construction of the door. Now, this was extremely tedious and there was a lot of little pieces um, that you needed to use to create the door. And honestly, after six hours of building the rest of the greenhouse, I really had to dig deep to motivate myself to do this door. Like shit got real with the door because I almost didn't want this entire greenhouse anymore. Honestly, I would almost recommend building the door first while you're still excited and motivated about the entire greenhouse and the whole build process. So overall, I guess I would have to agree it's relatively an easy build project. It just takes a very long time. Some of the things I really appreciated were the easy to follow instructions and the diagrams that are included. I did have one small issue with the roof vent installation and that's actually step 53. I found that whole image not very clear and a little bit difficult to understand, but luckily figured it out in the end. To really show me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. They provided some extra nuts and bolts and screws, so I was never short on any one item, and that was pretty awesome. Now, most of the assembly is done with a screwdriver and a wrench. There are moments when you do need to use a drill, and basically you're using these specialized screws to screw uh, metal rods into other metal and I would have to say that that is the trickiest part especially if you're trying to complete this alone and <laughs> most of this screwing metal into metal is during the door assembly which I'm telling you it's freaking annoying. Now in terms of the base for my base I knew I wanted to kind of lift the greenhouse off the ground ever so slightly so I could provide more um, internal space and more height when you step inside the greenhouse. In a nutshell, I used some eight foot four by fours that are weather treated and some half inch gravel to kind of complete the base. Now, I'm no engineer, but I tried to incorporate into my base design into consideration some of these high winds and heavy rains we can get in this area. So ultimately, in the end, I went with a four post system and I used some quick set concrete to secure the posts after connecting all of the beams and making sure that they were all level. And then I wrapped the base structure with some outdoor plywood and then was able to fill the entire uh, ground portion with that half inch gravel. Now at this point, I was finally able to uh, move the greenhouse out of my garage onto this base structure and I used one inch wood screws to secure the greenhouse to those four by fours. Now, finally, with my greenhouse assembled, you'll have to check out my greenhouse tour. I'm gonna throw up the link right here. As for my final review of the Palram Harmony greenhouse, here are my thoughts. In terms of usability, I'm pretty happy. I'm easily able to keep the greenhouse at a humidity level of 80%, which is exactly where you want it. I would rate this product a four out of five in terms of assembly because overall it's 
relatively easy to assemble, just very time consuming. However, I've knocked one point off because that door is honestly a nightmare to construct. In terms of the overall size of the greenhouse, I think with the appropriate and right kind of shelving, you can really get quite a few plants in there. So I'm pretty happy with the size of the greenhouse. Now, there does seem to be a five-year limited warranty that I found on the Pelram uh, website. And if this does apply to my Costco purchase, which I'm hoping it does, that would provide some uh, peace of mind. Now, one concern I do have is the clear polycarbonate. I am worried that on a very bright, sunny day that basically too much light um, will get into the greenhouse, ultimately with no missing items, and all of the items that did come in the box were very clearly labeled. I have to say I'm pretty happy with my new greenhouse. Will I be assembling a greenhouse anytime soon? Probably not in the next couple of years, thanks. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.